So I've been getting some requests for um, a look from the from the hills. So I can kind of go through and we'll start with Audrina Patridge because I've been getting a lot of requests for her, which is a really pretty um, black rimmed eye with like some satin taupey colors. And it really looks good on everybody. So you can watch my video on getting a flawless face. And there, um, Audrina's look particularly is, it's kind of a dewier look, so sometimes you can mix a little moisturizer with it. It won't be as long lasting, and your makeup will probably melt out off as if you put a little more powder. So uh, first what we're going to do is I'm going to take this color, and you can use this if you have it. If not, this is a cream color base from MAC. It's called Dust. It's kind of like a taupey color. So um, it's a cream color. So if I'm using it on a client, I'd use a sponge. But since it's just me and this is my makeup, I'm just going to put it on with my finger. And you're just going to tap and press it onto your lid. And it's a really pretty, it's just a really pretty taupey, browny gold color. And I'm going to put that all up, and I'm going to slightly blend it up into the crease just a little bit. Okay, so that's going to act as our base or our primer or um, uh, whatever you normally use to apply it. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm going to use Satin Taupe, which is one of my favorite colors from MAC. It's kind of this kind of browny gold color. So any color you have that's similar to that will look great. So again, I'm going to take my flat brush and we're just going to pat this all over the lid. Her look doesn't really have too much contouring. It's pretty much just this color all over the entire lid and slightly up to the brow bone. So since we put the cream on, we really want to pack this on well so it doesn't smudge off. Um, now I'm going to take a fluffier brush because we want to lighten that look just a little bit. The same satin taupe and I'm just going to kind of fluff it up onto the crease and move out towards the eyebrow. And just keep going like that, little circles, keep moving it out that direction. Then we're going to take a lighter color, and you can take Naked Lunch or any of these shimmery kind of uh, nude colors like this. This is Dazzle Light. Naked Lunch is a little pinkier and peachier, kind of like that. So I'm going to just take that and I'm going to go slightly underneath the brow bone. This is such a, this color looks really pretty on everybody. You can also take your flat kind of fluffy brush, and we're just going to put a little bit of this Dazzle Light in the front corner of the eyes. So right about there, and this is her kind of signature. This in the cold room will take a little lighter color and go right in there in the center like that. Now we're going to take our black, and she uses a black liner from Dior. I'm just going to use my black smolder because kind of a black is a black is a black, so it's pretty easy that way. So we're going to line the water line in here, which is what she always does for her look. We'll get both of these at the same time. Now we're going to line pretty much the entire eye, and it's going to be about the same thickness all the way around. So I just pull the skin a little tight right there. And if you don't like the consistency of smolder, because it's kind of like a slippery color, you can easily make a mess. You can use just a regular black liner engraved as their waterproof black, or any black. Revlon makes a good black. And then we're just going to extend a little bit past and go slightly underneath, kind of just brush it right into the lash line, from the water line into the lash line. And then we're really going to want to make sure we make this stick with an angled brush and our black liner. And I'm going to use my, uh, probably my trusty carbon, which is, I love, it's just a super black, black, inky black color. And I'm just going to press that down on top of the smolder, pretty much just to lock it in place. Otherwise, it's going to smear off, it's going to get all over your face, and it's going to look not so very good. And then just press it in underneath, too. And do the same thing over here. Just keep pressing. So this is a really fast look, pretty much. It's just some taupey colors, some black liner, and then you just scrub that black on there. Now we're going to soften it up just a little tiny bit and you can take your flat brush or any little kind of blending brush like this and you can go back with that satin taupey color um, and we're just going to smudge underneath just to soften it up a little bit because her look it's pretty heavy under the eye so we're, I'm just looking at the picture I have over there to make sure we're on point for what we're going for and just smudge it down so you're going to grab a little bit of the black with the satin taupe you're just going to Kind of smudge that down there. 
and then we're going to do the same thing on the tops, just a little bit. You're not, you're barely going to go right above where you just went with the uh, liner. You don't want to go on top of the liner, just kind of soften that edge up just a little bit. And then make sure you get these outer corners because the under part of her eye, it goes down and then it goes up a little bit. So we're going to kind of accentuate that by going into the corners with the dark a little bit. And then her brows are pretty much kind of a neutral brown. So um, depending upon your hair color, you can just go with that. And as far as her blush, she doesn't really use a pink blush. She just uses pretty much a bronzer. And you can use any bronzer. You can use the cheap ones are from Rimmel. They're like $5. So you kind of have any um, colors. And her eyebrows are pretty arched. So I'm just going to fill these in with some Omega, which is a light brown, and some medium charcoal brown. So whatever hair color you have, Omega is a great color for blondes. Um, I use it to soften the charcoal brown so it's not as dark. And my eyebrows are naturally pretty dark. My hair is pretty dark too, so these colors are good for my dark hair. Cork is a good color for eyebrows if you have more red auburn hair. Blonde, like I already said, Omega. So there's our eyebrow look. Now we're going to do cheeks. And of course my favorite color blush is blunt, which I love. And it's a perfect bronze color, which is like what she uses. So we're just going to get that. We're going to go same old trick, corner of the mouth to the top of the ear. Do that over here. Hit all the bronzy spots for that kind of, their kind of California beachy glow that they go for. And do that. And then you can add a little bit of my new favorite uh, color addiction, which is the, what is this, golden bronze from MAC, this little beautiful glistening color. And this is just gives a really pretty glow. And those girls always have some kind of glittery, frosty stuff on them somewhere. So just hit the tops of the cheeks, right down the nose, and that's going to be a beautiful glow. Then, um, Audrina's favorite lip glosses are from Too Faced. And I happen to have my Too Faced glosses. Oh, there they are. So um, I don't have the names. This just came from a little palette. Oh, and it just fell out. That's great. So I'm going to use this kind of... It's like a peachy pearly color and maybe this honey color. So I'm just going to mix those together a little bit. And we're not going to do a liner. We're just going to throw this on top. And just mixing. So if you have any honey color lip gloss or like this silvery pinky color. And... Now we're going to just finish it off. Curling your lashes is going to make the biggest difference ever. I don't know how many times I can tell people that. One, two, three, four, five. And if you're working on a client or even on yourself, sometimes the countdown helps. One, two, three, four, five. L'Oreal Double Extend Tubes are my favorite, is my favorite mascara. So this is a super fast look. It just takes a few minutes. This is probably a great everyday look. Um, it's a great color for every eye color, pretty much. And now you see what my eyelashes look all white. That looks really weird. Um, you want to put this on if you're using these. Make sure you put it on quickly because you want the wet part of the white stuff to dry. With, I know I make weird faces when I put mascara on. Um, you want it to bond together because you're kind of making a little mixture. So we throw that on. Wiggle that around. Put a few coats on. I'll put a couple coats. This stuff is awesome because it lasts all day long. It lasts all night long too. You can sleep in this stuff. It's amazing. I This is my favorite. It beats anything else I've tried. From expensive stuff like Dior Show to the classic Maybelline to everybody. I just love this stuff. And then to get it off, you just put it a really hot washcloth on your eye for a couple seconds. And then all the little tubes just melt right off. So here's your super fast um, Audrina kind of brown smoky taupey eye that you can do any time of the day super fast. Keep all your requests coming, guys, and um, have a beautiful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.